Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video but before we get on to today's one guys we need to go over last episode's results so once again we have got another tiebreaker between uh, Era XD and Mr. Missalot once again those two are going head to head um, yeah, for the tiebreaker so if we just grab their objects here so yeah it's between these two objects here so if you'd like to take part in the vote make sure to join my discord server link in the description yeah the last uh, episodes these are the two objects that are uh, the ones to vote for so they're the top two so yeah we had mr mr lots uh, tidily locked one here with that ultra orange face on one side and then all the gray out on the other side then we had him yeah era xd's um one here the gas dwarf with its um ocean underneath um all of the uh yeah, underneath all the clouds and stuff there. So, yeah, there are those guys' objects. But, yeah, of that all uh, said and done, we'll get to the results of that one next week. But, yeah, let's get on to today's one. Okay, guys, so today we are doing Epsilon uh, Danny C. This is a uh, ice giant object, a little larger than uh, Uranus and Neptune. You've probably seen it in my uh, size comparison videos um, if you've ever watched those. And, yeah, here's my version of it. I've had it for absolutely years. This was a random spawn. I didn't modify it or anything. It came out of the box exactly like this. So, yeah, I've always um, used it to represent this planet. But, yeah, we're going to see what you guys have created now. So if I go ahead and search up competition. Okay, so here we go. Right. So we've got six submissions today. So a massive thank you to everyone who uh, sent those in. So... We'll pause it. So the first object we've got is Tiss Pole's one. So his is a lot bigger than mine. Right. So let's see what he has uh, made for us. Whoa. Okay. Look at all the bands on that. Wowee. That is very, very crazy. So as you can see, it's got a lot of Saturn, uh, Jupiter and Saturn-like colours in it. We've got some darker black sort of bands um, in there as well. And I believe, um, I don't know if he um, did it, but I know a lot of people sent in like little descriptions for their objects. There. So I'm just going to check. If he uh, sent one for his. But yeah, overall, that is a crazy amount of bands. I think he uh, did leave a little message of his one. So what have we got here? Okay. Right, so his object. Okay. So yeah, this was um, this was Tispoles, wasn't it? Yeah, so Tispole. Okay, so here's my submission. It has 1,050 bands. Okay, it's 1,050. <laughs> Wowee. Okay. Um, on the backstory on of it, which is purely speculation. Okay, so this planet is formed roughly or formed roughly Jupiter's distance from its star, but it did not experience the same planetary migration Jupiter did. Its system was far sparser than ours, and it did not have nearly enough material to pull it um, into its star. Um, it also had less mass than Jupiter. I mean, yeah, uh, this is this is based off the real one here, my one. This is its size as we know it. So yeah, the mass on it. It's not got a lot. 20, 20 Earths. I mean, it's bigger than, like, the Uranus-Neptune sort of areas. Or, hang on, there's Neptune. Oh, Neptune's 17 Earths, and yeah, Uranus is 14. So it's got more mass than uh, Neptune and Uranus as well from this one. Uh, radius is also bigger than Uranus and Neptune there as well. See, it's a 0 0.5 Jupiters. So it's not quite the size of Saturn either. Yeah, his one's, uh, his one's quite a lot bigger than the real deal. Um, so, yeah, um, there we are. Um, as you see, it's quite a stormy gas giant, much like Jupiter. Um, it has a lot of ammonia cloud class. Similar colour palette to Jupiter as well, uh, and the orangish brown tones. It is largely composed of hydrogen, as you know, is common for most gas giants on the cloud level. You'll find winds comparable to Saturn's at 1,700 kilometres per hour. Remember, it is an ice giant, um, as far as we know as well. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, really interesting going with the Jupiter shades on it, but yeah, there we go, nonetheless. So, overall, very nice looking world indeed there. Lots of bands, and yeah, I like it. It looks like a good gas giant. So... There is his one. Right, moving on. Next up, we have got Astronomy Geeks. One, did he uh, submit anything for his? Uh, let's see. Okay, no, he did. He just uh, put the object. He didn't put any description. So here is his one. So we'll put it this side of mine. Right, so here we go. So as we can see here, it's got some more like palish sort of pink uh, colours in it, mixed with some like, lighter pastel sort of oranges in there. And there are the colours as well. So yeah, a lot of uh, peach sort of shades. Got some like yeah more of the reddish shades in there as well, making uh, his object right here. So there is his. So yeah, that was Astronomy Geeks one. Alrighty. Right, moving on, we have got Cause one here. Here we go. This one's um, got some nice shades of blue and white on it. So here we go. And it kind of reminds me of my one, actually, with the colours. It's got the light blues. It's got the whites in there as well. Looking good. Definitely uh, meets the Ice Giant specification, if you ask me. Looking very nice indeed there. Yeah, so nice, nice mix of pale sort of uh, blues in there. Obviously, the white bands uh, mixed in with it as well. I mean, yeah, if you look at compared to mine it looks like an exotic version of my one with a slightly uh, more enhanced shades of blue on it so yeah overall very nice object indeed from core there big thumbs up from me for that one right so moving on right next up wh whose is this one this is sirens one okay whoa this thing is huge 
Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure the planet's this big. Oh my god, but yeah, there we go. Nonetheless, here it is. Wow, we okay. So if we look at it, um, did he leave any description for his? Let's see. Nothing special about my object. Um, looks a lot like a warm colored gas giant. Okay, right. So if we go, we can also change the lighting mode as well. So if we go to uh, studio, I guess we can have a peek. So it's got, it kind of reminds me of this gas dwarf actually from a few episodes ago. Um, so it's got yeah, yellow in the top, goes to a more reddish color, like to the pinkish, the very dark um, red there. And then it goes back to the uh, same colors in the south. Very nice mix of combination of colors there as well. And yeah, I believe I still have his gas dwarf actually. If I just quickly take a side tour here. Uh, his gas dwarf, do I, where is it? It was... Well, I'm not sure if I have it or not. Enough. Uh, then I think I saved it. I'm not going to spend ages trying to find it if I didn't. I'm, I'm sure I saved his uh, gas dwarf in here somewhere. I don't know. Let's see if I can quickly locate it. Yeah, there's his one there. Let's see any. But it was quite similar to this one in colour. I know that for sure. There's his salt or sulfur gas dwarf, but he has normal gas dwarf from two episodes back. Ah, never mind. I can't find it. You, you probably know what it is if you saw uh, the competition video for that. Anyway, but yeah, there we go. So there is his um, Epsilon Erden AB. Alrighty, right now moving on back to the uh, comp objects here. Okay, so next up we have got uh, the Munix one. So let's go ahead and uh, place that in here. Righty, so here we go. Right, so we can see it starts off with blue in the north, goes to some Jupiter sort of shades of colour here. And then in the south goes back to a sort of bluish shade as well. I mean, yeah, you definitely uh, fool some people um, thinking that's probably a Jupiter as well from a distance. But yeah, there we go. There is his one. So it's got a slightly different mix of bands. Maybe it was built off of Jupiter in the first place. Who knows? But yeah, there is his one. Right. And then moving on, we have got Gigaman's one here. So let's see what he has prepared for us today. So there we go. And yeah, there is his one. So we can see he's got some very exotic shades of purples, violets, a bit of like a magenta in there as well. And then we've also got some sort of dark deep reds with his as well that is really crazy stuff indeed there so looking at the top we can see some other shades We've got like a light pink some oranges in there and then go into the south of the object yep sort of similar colors there as well so let's get a lineup of all the objects now so there we go we'll have to make the sizes a lot different because some of these are way 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 too big compared to the actual size so let's go ahead and make it oh oh no <laughs> broken it oh dear okay was well, 0 0.1 suns are you sure about that right let's go ahead and spawn that one in again Right, I guess we'll have to manually input the numbers. So, yeah, the size of it is around 6.28. Uh, so, it's around 30,000 kilometers um, in radius. So, right, let's uh, put that on. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. No, 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 turn that off. We'll just lock that. And then radius, yeah, we'll put it to around uh, 30,000. Uh, there we go. So, that, that's roughly where we want to be. So, uh, same with you. Put you around to around 30. I think it's actually maybe, I think it's 40,000, actually, isn't it? Going to, yes, yeah, roughly, roughly about 40,000. Okay. Right, uh, and then on to this one. Same protocol with you. Uh, Jupiter's, yeah, these are these are a lot bigger than the real one. Um, so there we go. Kilometers, 40,000 for you as well. And uh, once again, just keep just keep doing the same process over and over again. Uh, so 40,000. All righty, there we go. Getting close. One Jupiter on this one. Uh, so kilometers, 40,000. There we go. And then the last one here looking good so um kilometers then at forty thousand. there you go right there now we can get them all lined up right so we'll go uh on to make live looking good we'll have to make sirens one um a tad bigger because we did make it a little small so kilometers and then uh forty thousand. awesome right and then uh, just do it uh, once more like so okay there we go now we've got a lineup of all of them so we'll turn off labels and then we'll go um go through them all so yeah starting off we have my one here can't vote for this one but yeah classic random spawn from years and years ago i've had to save for years so there's my one the good old ice giant there right then this one was uh this was tispole's one yep that was tispole's oh that was very big yeah so that was a uh, tispole's one there another um yep tispole's then this next one here this was astronomy geeks one here so that's what he prepared for us with the uh, mix of the lighter pinks um, in there as well. Then we had a cause one here. So the only other one that looks like an ice giant in my eyes. See, so yeah, I've got the nice uh, mixes of the light blue and the white combined there. Looking very nice indeed. So there is that one. And then moving on again. So this was this was the Munix one. Yeah, that was the Munix one. Then the next one on was Gigaman's over here. There was his one with the crazy amounts of shades of purples in there. 
And then lastly, we had Siren's one at the very end here, going with the beautiful yellow in the north and the south, and then working to like the blood red dark purples in the middle very very nice color combinations in there indeed but yeah there we are guys that does it for today's competition so yeah massive thank you to everyone who sent in their objects for today's competition and yeah good luck to everyone in the uh, voting so if you'd like to vote and take part in it make sure to join my discord server link in the description then you can just vote for the whoever you want remember it's one vote per person because we do have some people who vote for all of them so it kind of makes it irrelevant if you vote for all of them um so yeah make sure to only vote for one please and also you can't vote for yourself but yeah if you'd like to take part in that make sure to join my discord server link in the description yeah that all said and done guys a massive thank you to everyone like i said who took part in in this as well and a massive thank you for watching today's video and yeah with that all said and done guys um next competition will be something special we are going to be doing a christmas object competition so you won't have to won't need to vote on a next competition object because yeah, it will be a christmas competition we're doing next so yeah stay tuned for that and yeah let's see if we can go for 30 likes for today's competition for epsilon erdany b or no it's c isn't it yes yeah, c not be <laughs> so yeah massive um thanks again and yeah make sure to also subscribe helps on the journey to 19,000 subscribers guys and yeah make sure you have a great day out there stay safe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye